Welcome to Dr. Rajendran's Online Academy. The course title is Physical Chemistry. The specific topic is Thermodynamics. In this class, we are going to learn more details about the state quantity. Hello students, are you ready? Can we start our class? Let's learn the state quantity with more specific examples of the chemical systems. Let's see whether enthalpy is a state function or a path function. For this purpose, I consider the formation of sodium chloride. It can be formed in a single step as indicated by path 1. In this single step reaction, sodium ion in the gaseous state reacts with the chloride ion in the gaseous state to produce solid sodium chloride. This reaction releases the heat energy, the so-called change in enthalpy, delta H of 411 kJ per mole. Next, let's consider the same reaction in multiple steps as indicated by path 2. The first step involves the sublimation of sodium, that is, the conversion of the solid sodium into the gaseous sodium atom. This process absorbs heat energy of 107 kJ per mole. The second step involves atomization, in which molecular chlorine is converted into the chlorine atoms. This process absorbs the heat energy of 122 kJ per mole. The third step, the ionization of the gaseous sodium atom into the gaseous sodium ion, absorbs 496 kJ per mole. The fourth step is the electron affinity of gaseous chlorine atom to become gaseous chlorine ion. In contrast to the above three steps, this reaction releases the heat energy of 349 kJ per mole. The final step involves the combination of both the sodium and the chlorine atoms in the gaseous state to form the solid sodium chloride lattice. This reaction also releases the heat energy of 787 kJ per mole. The overall reactions release the heat energy or the change in enthalpy of 411 kJ per mole. Interestingly, no matter whether the reaction takes place in a single step, as in the path 1, or multiple steps, as in the path 2, the total change in enthalpy is the same. Therefore, enthalpy is a path-independent quantity, or it is a state quantity. Next, let's consider another example of the formation of carbon dioxide. It can be formed in a single step, as indicated by path 1. In this single step reaction, solid carbon reacts with gaseous hydrogen and oxygen to produce gaseous carbon dioxide and hydrogen. This reaction is exothermic and releases the heat energy of 393.5 kJ per mole of carbon dioxide. In other words, the change in enthalpy, delta H, of this reaction is minus 393.5 kJ per mole of carbon dioxide. Next, let's consider the same reaction into steps as indicated by path 2. The first step involves the formation of water molecule from hydrogen and oxygen. Both the reactants and the product are in the gaseous state. This process releases the energy of 483.6 kJ per mole. The second step involves the reaction between the solid carbon and gaseous water. 
This reaction absorbs the energy of 90.1 kJ per mole. The overall reactions release the energy of 393.5 kJ per mole. Interestingly, no matter whether the reaction takes place in a single step or two steps, the total change in enthalpy is the same. Therefore, enthalpy is not a path dependent quantity, but it is a state quantity. All right, in the next class, we will learn few additional details on the state quantity. Also, we will learn why we need to consider a state function. See you in the next class.